What's going on guys, Dr. Groot 7 signing in back with another Vita tutorial video. This is going to be about the PlayStation Vita jailbreak. It's one of the most convenient and best ways to jailbreak. We do not require a PC in order to perform the jailbreaking process. We're going to use just the PlayStation Vita to commence the jailbreak. Make sure that your PlayStation Vita is on its latest firmware version. Just go to system and check system information. Here you're going to see 3.74. This is the latest firmware version. If it's not on that firmware version, just go to system update and perform an update. After that, go into the Vita's web browser and make sure to delete any kind of history or cookies by going into settings. In the address box, just type in and press on enter. It's going to take you to this page. Just hit on unlock my Vita, press on unlock. Now, if you're going to get this JavaScript error, exit and perform a restart. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. Now we are on the Henlo Bootstrap menu. This jailbreaking process is for all the models of the PlayStation Vita, including PlayStation TV. I'm using a PlayStation Vita 1000 model with a memory card inserted. Additionally, you can do it without a memory card as well. By installing Henkaku, just install Replace Nair with Vita Deploy. I tried that process, but it just didn't work for me. So I'm just using a memory card and it's always good to be on the safer side of things. Install Henkaku, exit, go into settings, Go into Henkaku settings, make sure that your enable unsafe homebrew has been checkmarked. After installing Henkaku, just install Vita Deploy. Now this is for all models and the 1000 models with the memory card. Install Vita Deploy. Okay, it's all done. We're just going to exit. There you go. So now you can see like two icons. Now this is the method that I tried without the memory card. It just didn't work. It was supposed to replace the VDEP with Vita Deploy, but it just did not. So let's just disregard that. We're going to just, you know, use Vita Deploy and run it. And here in Vita Deploy, we're going to go into install a different OS, quick 3.65 install and let it perform the installation process. Okay, so here we're just going to press X to continue. Do you want to downgrade the firmware? Just press X to continue. Now press X to accept the terms and start the installation. Go ahead and press on X. So now we're just going to go into settings. Now we have Henkaku settings. Make sure that unsafe homebrew has been enabled. And we're just going to go into the system, system information. Now you can see the modified system software has been installed 3.65. Now we're going to go into Henkaku settings one more time, go into spoofed version. We're going to set it to 3.74 because that's the latest version. All right guys, so now that we are done completing the remote jailbreak process of the PlayStation Vita, it's time for me to show you guys a couple of essential stuffs, which includes expanding the memory capacity of the PlayStation Vita using the SD to Vita adapter, followed by some essential homebrew apps. And I'm also going to tweak some settings in order to prevent the PlayStation Vita from getting any kind of future updates. I already have all those set up on my previous tutorial. So let's just step right into it. All right, guys, so after performing those steps, it's time for us to increase the storage capacity of the PlayStation Vita. Make sure that you have a SD to Vita adapter and also a micro SD card that you need to put inside the adapter. I'm using a SanDisk 128 gigabytes ultra micro SD card. Insert the adapter into where the game cards goes in. Start Vita deploy. Go into miscellaneous, format storage device, and you're going to select format a storage device and select format target storage. Now for some of you guys, it might take a little bit. It's not going to show anything on the screen. Do not panic. Wait until you see this message. Hit on OK. Now it's time to restart the PlayStation Vita. So we're going to shut it down and then we're going to turn it back up. So once the Vita has been turned on, go into settings and go into devices, select storage devices, check this box, use YAMT. Time to restart the PlayStation Vita one more time. Okay, so after performing those steps, run Vita deploy, go into file manager, 
I'm going to show you guys that we have successfully mounted our external storage. If you check UMAO, it says 1.03 MB out of 119 gigabytes. So this is our external storage. So what we're going to do here is we're gonna have to transfer all the files from the internal storage into the external storage. So the system files can be found in UXO. Just highlight UXO, go into UXO. You're going to have to transfer all of these files. In order to do that, just select all of these files using the square button. Except this particular file that is named as Skello Trash. After you're done selecting all of the files, hit on triangle, press copy, hit on the circle to go back, go into UMAO, just press the D-pad down one time, press the triangle again, and select paste. So all the system files have been copied into the extended storage device. So now we're going to just go back. After that, go into settings, go into devices, storage devices. So here you're going to change the UXO to SD2 Vita. Additionally, you can change the UMAO into internal storage for the 2000 models and for the 1000 models like myself we're going to select memory card we're just going to exit and restart the vita one last time okay so the process of upgrading the storage has been completed how do we confirm we just go into settings go into system go into system information and here if you check memory card it says capacity 119 gigabytes free space 119 gigabytes we have successfully upgraded our storage capacity of the playstation vita wait before you guys leave there is a couple of more things that needs to be done we're gonna have to prevent the playstation vita from updating any kind of future updates go into settings go into system go into auto start settings and uncheck this box it says download update file for system software we do not need that it's going to create issues with the jailbreak we head over to vita deploy we're going to download a couple of applications and then you're all good to go go into app downloader we're going to download vita shell this is the file transfer app that is going to enable you guys to connect to a pc the second application that we're gonna download is the itls installer the third one would be adrenaline the other stuff i'm going to show you guys in separate tutorials including adrenaline this is a playstation portable emulator i will make a separate guide for this for now let's just go ahead and install it go ahead and select download the selected apps and all the applications are downloaded go ahead and hit on triangle and select mark all and then hit on triangle once more and go to more and select install all and here we have all three of the applications so here we're going to do a couple of stuff with vita shell hit on select it will allow your playstation vita to connect to a pc using a usb cable and hit on start as usb device we're going to select sd2 vita let's just go ahead select itls installer here you don't have to do much just hit on x and install the full itls package okay so we are done with these setups so now we are completely done with the jailbreaking process so this is how you perform a complete jailbreak and upgrade your storage capacity so if you like this tutorial guys you know what to do hit on the like button share your thoughts in the comments section let me know how you found this tutorial for new users please make sure to hit on that subscribe button every bit of support helps me a lot and i'm gonna see you guys on the next video dot root 7 signing off peace